Hello, dear friends. Uh, this is Francois Gauthier. I'm doing the first of my podcast on Indian history to demystify myths, to rewrite Indian history as it happens from antiquity till today. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about the Saraswati River, which was long considered as a myth. Now, as you know, uh, most of our history books uh, mention the fact that Many of uh, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, great rivers flow from the Himalayas, uh, from Tibet to different areas of the Himalayas. And so did the Saraswati. At least 100,000 years ago, the Saraswati River flowed from the Himalayas. Uh, as you know also, Hindus have always named their rivers after goddesses. So they called uh, this particularly mighty river, which was in its time the, the biggest and the largest river in India and Pakistan, Saraswati. And the Rig Veda, the Rig Veda, the most ancient of Indian sacred text, mentioned the Saraswati 50 times, and at different time mentioning uh, the, the purest of the mothers, uh, the purest of the rivers, the mother of all rivers, the Saraswati. Now, uh, modern uh, Indology said that the Saraswati is a myth, but the British themselves, there were two brothers called the Oldham brothers, who in the 19th century, I think it was 1870, started charting the course of the Saraswati, using the instrument of this time and also uh, making a different pl places, making perforations so as to reach the underground uh, Saraswati River. They concluded that the Saraswati did exist. We have to wait till 1969 for a German uh, uh, explorer and archaeologist called Orel Stein uh, to confirm the existence of the Saraswati River uh, as a real river that existed. And he started giving proofs at that time in 1969 of this river. Of course, today, thanks to satellite uh, uh, photography and modern equipment tools, uh, the entire course of the Saraswati River has been chartered, flowing from the Himalayas into Punjab, from Punjab into Ariana, from Ariana into Rajasthan, then into Gujarat, and then flowing in the Kutch, in the Kutch, from the Kutch uh, into the Arabian Sea. Uh, when uh, uh, there was uh, an underground nuclear explosion. Some of the Saraswati River by Mr. Bajpai, I think must have been in 2099, maybe in 1999. Uh, some of the Saraswati River uh, came up, so one could see that part of this river is still running underground. Uh, why did the Saraswati River disappear? Uh, it is believed that around 5,000 years before Christ, 5,000 years before Christ, that is for us uh, 722 years, there were tectonic movements in the Shivalik, you know, in the foothills of the Himalayas. There were tectonic movements and that diverted the course of the Saraswati River into the Jamuna and it dried by 2000 BC. But, but what's interesting, and we will come later in another podcast, is that on the site of the Saraswati River, as, as, as it has been charted today, there were 2,000 archaeological Harappan sites, you know, the Harappan civilization, which also thought to be mythical, which were found and dug up both in Pakistan and India and showed that the Saraswati River was, as the Rig Veda says, the mother of all rivers, and that on its banks flowed one of the greatest, most ancient civilizations that today we call India. So see you next time. Namaste.